Got this email from a lady says, I had to reach out to tell you guys this. So I'm a correctional officer. I deal with a lot of packages hooped. That's what they call it. Okay. That's their technical term for it. Whoa. Hooped. Okay. The craziest thing I've seen dealing with this area so far was an inmate who dry hooped, meaning no lubrication. Oh, yeah. A package of marijuana bigger than a softball. You'd be surprised what can be done back there. <laughs> Long story short, because of the size of the package and him not using any sort of lubricant to get it up there, mm. he did suffer severe rectal damage. I bet. And he had to be rushed to the hospital. He was admitted for several days, and there was such bad damage, he had to have emergency surgery to put his booty back together. Yeah, so he tore it, huh? I hope there's no one ever required to put my booty back together. You never know. Life, you know, you never know. <laughs> I hope I hope so too for you. Yeah, I don't want your booty to be separated. <laughs> Thank you, Chuck. But I don't know what you're going to get after. Uh, last I heard, he still has issues down there from this incident. Once they, once they've had to rebuild it, I don't think it's ever the same. No. It's ever in working order again. You know, like when you they get your car parts. fixed. <laughs> you know when they get your, you get your car yeah. fixed and you're like, there's still a noise. Right, there's <laughs> still a noise. There's like some kind of noise. They fixed it. But they but... also don't have the factory parts to, what are no. they using to rebuild your booty? I don't know. I don't know what they use. My buddy got a brand new b-hole, so. That's right, but artificial. No, I don't know if it's artificial. Like, do they, I don't think it's like a plastic thing. I think they just rebuild it with like. Plastic surgery because the sphincter technology would be hard to. Sphincters are so important too. Right? I think that I think though that's the part that needed to be. How do you rebuild a sphincter? I don't know. That's that's a great. It's a great question. Here's well, if a sphincter is what he needed, we've got sphincter muscles all over our body. <laughs> no, we really do. Like oh. we have one rectum, but we've got lots of sphincters. Like that style sphincter of muscle. Yeah. expert Al. <laughs> Who knew Al was the sphincter expert? Surprise! Oh surprise! Surprise! <laughs> oh, so they so they must go in and grab another one. It could be. I I don't uh, know, but yeah, no. I that was one of those surprising. I was surprised with that fact. I was like, ah, I'm gonna file that one. Yeah. yeah. Time to pull Good it knowledge. out. That's a funny one to bust out. Well, we're all full of sphincters. <laughs> <laughs> Andy, I work on this show. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> true. Yeah, it can be that. repaired or simply tightened. Tightened. <laughs> yeah, give it a give it a pull. They just take a wrench back there. Yeah, <laughs> maybe a wire. <laughs> Close it up. There's a well-established therapy for patients with incontinence. Imagine going into sphincter therapy. That would suck. I mean, <laughs> it would suck, but also poops just flying out of you like wow, a mouse. So you do whatever <laughs> you do whatever you gotta you know, do. You gotta I get do it. what you, you gotta, gotta do. You gotta regain sphincter control. You really do. <laughs> But I mean, I've been to physical therapy before. You know, I can't imagine going to something like that for sphincter. You know, they exercises. have. It'd be funny if they were like exercising their beehole and then they fell and <laughs> they're having all these struggles. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. A rocky montage <laughs> of just my butthole running up a steps. <laughs> yeah. Anonymous in Florida. Hello. Hey, how are you guys? Doing Emily's okay. Uh, hey. You went through uh, some sphincter stuff? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I was a, uh, I was a cop in Chicago. Went into a bar fight. Uh, saw this little five-foot-nothing girl kick my partner right in the rocks. And he immediately dropped, started puking. Ooh. And I went to help him up, and she got me with her... Pointed to Western boot. Right in the right sphincter? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, right, you took a, a boot direct. to the sphincter? Yeah, a pointy yeah. boot uh -huh. right in there. Yep. Like Luke Skywalker's Did you know Death instantly? <laughs> yes. yep. Did you know instantly that she had done some backdoor damage? I felt the intense pain, yes, but, I mean, you're on adrenaline when you're going through this, right? Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, was just, uh, it was just a matter of trying to whatever was going on in front of me and then I realized and yeah the pain was like unbelievable needless to say i was bleeding like a sieve and i didn't realize that until afterwards either right sure you're not checking your oh. ass yeah and you're all everything back there is great now yeah it's been 
five or six years, I guess. And yeah, it, yeah, it works. No rip cords though. No. Oh no. yeah, don't oh, play around God, with that. God, don't play no, around with that. Go. You keep that thing. Uh... I'd, I'd be wearing iron underwear after that. Like I honestly, <laughs> oh. I would not take a chance again. Yeah. Not yeah, a bad the idea. Of my career, I was very protective of the little turtle. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Yeah. Always yeah. facing <laughs> any perp. <laughs> head on, always. Head oh, on. Always. Never turn your back on nope. anyone. Nope. Anonymous, so, thank you so much. Yeah. Glad your B-hole yeah. is back up and running again. Yeah. That chick yeah, like... glad to talk about it with you guys. You guys are awesome. You really are. You're a, a blast. A breath of fresh air down here. Awesome. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Have a good day. Thanks. See Have ya. a great thank day. Thank you. What right. else could he call in about that? Talk? No, no one. I mean, it was probably amazing. felt good to get it off his chest, right? <laughs> it's incredible that that chick just like crane kicked his beehole hole to oblivion. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, she really. <laughs> what a bitch! Oh, yeah. Holy Karate no. kid. She took the one out Terrible. in the nuts oh, and then the other one in the beehole. <laughs> she was a little one man wrecking. No, yeah, she, was. she was. She took one guy down in the nuts and the other guy yep. destroyed his back door for <laughs> years. Like it yep. took years yep. to rebuild. Mm. Holy smokes. Poor bastard. Uh, Matt's in Ohio. You have some experience here? Yes. I'm a 22-year veteran of, uh, of being a correctional officer. Okay. And one of my coworkers went to uh, one of our sister facilities here in Ohio. Did a shakedown over there. And they make, they make cell phones about the size of your pinky. He found one. Did the shake. It was uh, stripping a guy out. And... Found a uh, found it in a uh, found a cell phone in this dude's uh, pee hole. Oh, Nelly! Yeah, yeah, that's a big uh, that's a big. Uh, Hello. <laughs> that's a big. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hello. I mean, if I've got a phone in my penis, I've got quite a penis. It starts vibrating and yeah. ringing. Oh, hold on a second. I gotta make a phone call. Hello. What's up, lady? How you doing, baby girl? Yeah. You know I'm talking on the penis phone. How are you? Wow. I mean, come on. I don't know what. If someone came to me and they're like, "What could you smuggle inside of a prison in your penis?" I'm like. Three Benadryl, <laughs> the three Benadryl maybe in there. No cell phones. Holy hell, my god! Yeah. How do those cell phones work? I mean, do you think that they you can actually hear people and talk on those? <laughs> Probably things? not. So you know, tiny. I wonder if you can. If I wonder if they call out or if it's something that they only receive calls and people have to call you and it's just like an answer button. I don't know. It's so small. Like, how can it have? I don't know. Yeah, I just. Oh yeah, there it is. Look at that. Oh, that's bigger than I could <laughs> handle. I'm gonna that's be like, honest. That's like two pinkies. But if you put it up next to like an earbud, they have pictures of that, and it's like the same size. But that's that is too large. Yeah. yeah I no. Mean, there's no way in hell. Pee hole. Come on. You gotta have a big. Yeah. Look, hole. like that one right there is the size of his index finger, and I know <laughs> that I couldn't take my oh, index my God, finger. Oh my God! 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 Stop! It in stop! There. No. Remember that dude that called in from prison on his prison yeah, phone? Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. He was in a cell, and he mm -hmm. called us. Yep. <laughs> he used his, some of his battery life. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just call into our show. Hello, Dave and Chuck. I'm <laughs> talking on the penis phone. <laughs> I think he turns up the volume with his balls. How do you? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on a minute. I don't know. He just squeezes the edges. <laughs> right. You just got to squeeze the edge until you find it.